everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a pick a card on what's coming for you after the new moon in libra on the 24th of september so let's get started we have group number one two three and four if you'd like to choose which group you would like and take 10 seconds out to choose which one you would like and let's get started Let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's see what's happening for your love life after the new moon in Libra on the 28th of September. We have deep replenishment, oh lovely. Retreat, rest, be held. Body movement. Be bold and make the first move. Time to give rather than take. And communication is key. So right, let's put these up here so let's start off with the oracle cards and then we're going to see what's going to happen in terms of the tarot so so for your love life after this libra new moon i feel like you're going to feel so replenished after the 24th i think you're going to feel so much more happier in terms of your love life i feel like things are going to start moving for you in terms of things kind of coming into fruition sorry the 20 28th of september i hope i said that right um, I definitely feel like things are coming towards you in terms of communication. There's going to be somebody who's going to make the first move. You may, you may make the first move, but somebody may make it for you. So we also have communications. So this is basically someone coming in to give you some sort of communication. And it could be a friend. It could be a relationship, a starting off as a relationship as well. Um, and I feel like it's just so much kind of replenishment. And basically things are starting to align in terms of the stars. And we also have like all these stars all up in this gorgeous sky. All the stars are going to be aligned <clears throat> in terms of your love life. And we have the flowers here, which are pink roses, which are very similar to these roses here. So what a gorgeous, gorgeous spread we have. So let's bring these up here. And then we're going to have a look into the uh, tarot and see what's coming forward for you in the uh, after this a Libra new moon. Libra, yeah, Libra new moon. So I was going to say four months, I'm saying new moon. It's very confusing. I confuse myself. Yeah, exactly. New start. We have the four card. We then have the eight of pent, sorry, nine of pentacles. Ten of swords, ten of wands. Temperance. Four of Swords, and then what's the overall energy for group number one for the new moon in Libra? Okay, Five of Swords, underneath we have the Sun. So you guys are going to be kind of very discerning in terms of your love life. This, what this means is that you may be on your guard in terms of someone new coming in, but I feel like you're going to absolutely love them once you get to know them, okay? Because you've been through so much, you're basically so used to being single. I feel like oh, you're, you guys, if you're single, you're used to being single, this group. I feel like you're so used to kind of making it on your own. Somebody's actually going to come in and help you and be like, hey, like you're very attractive. I want to help you with this sort of task, whatever it is, or let's kind of work together on this. And then possibly you start talking from there. I feel like you could meet this person through like a group, a work situation, that sort of thing. Um, and I feel like it's just going to be really, really amazing for you. Um, you're basically going to be ending a cycle and things are going to start to balance out and your emotions are going to be much more calmer than they were a few weeks before um, a few weeks before the uh, new moon in Libra okay and basically you're going to get a massive entrance coming in this meaning there's going to be a new opportunity for you in terms of you to help you expand your love life You've been they're telling me you've been single for too long. I know it's felt like too long. You've been deceived. You've been hurt. But now is the fucking right time to get started on a new relationship, new friendship, new groups. You know, things are starting to come to fruition for you guys. And I feel like that's going to be absolutely stunning for you. So if you guys, you could be meeting a fire sign. Um, I'm also seeing air here as well and possible water, okay? Um, more specifically, you could be meeting a Gemini. Um, a Virgo or you could just meet somebody who's just you know 
whatever sign really I don't it's just whatever sign comes up but that's just for extra clarification but if I haven't mentioned the person you're thinking about or somebody you may have met and you may be thinking oh I need extra clarification that's totally fine that's just for extra clarification okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video if this resonates and please let me know um also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I'd absolutely love that and if you would like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon Bye guys. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you after this new moon in Libra on the 28th of September. Mintican, min longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Financial flow, nothing is yet set in stone. Take time to breathe out. The end of a tough cycle approaches right for you guys i feel like there may be something rocky that has been happening in the month of september or before that or possibly even after this new moon i feel like there's going to be so much more reaping rewards in terms of your finances not really love i feel like for you guys it's more time to take care of yourself um if you're in a relationship or you're single i feel like it's just a time to take care of yourself for like some of you the group people who've chosen this group i feel like i've really kind of um working on the earth almost like possibly recycling more being more conscious of the earth i feel like you guys are also the end of a tough cycle is approaching so i feel like whatever's happening you may feel like oh this is awful it's going to be awful like it's never going to end why is this so awful i feel like things are going to change you know things are going to get better basically you just need to take time to breathe out over this new moon time and i feel like it's really important for you to just kind of let things flow um, I don't see anything major happening in the space of the, probably the next two weeks after this new moon but I do see a lot of financial flow and in terms of money and career and you will be probably focusing more on your home life um, in terms of you want to kind of go home if you are a, a light worker or a like star seed you may be thinking I really kind of want to get off this planet but then you may feel like you need to kind of make a home for yourself here in terms of possibly changing up your scenery in your house possibly going out for walks more um and then and yeah being more conscious of your of, of the environment you know so let's see in the tarot what's kind of happening for you for group number two what's happening for group number two after this new moon in libra on the 28th of september the chariot gorgeous got the chariot Judgment, Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Okay, I've got a lot of cards. Right, the overall energy is the full card, which is underneath the deck. So you are going to have a new start, but nothing is yet set in stone. So it may change to what you actually think it's going to be, which is actually really good. We're going to do Four of Swords, Temperance, Ten of Swords, and the uh, Five of Swords so for you guys there's definitely a new start coming it's not coming yet it is coming though okay it is on its way to you you've been out in the cold for too long in terms of possibly picking choosing the right the wrong people but they weren't the wrong people you know people say they're the wrong people but it's mainly just how you see it and what you learn from it you know um and you may just be more aware of people deceiving you and you're having to kind of put up walls which is actually quite good because you need to make sure you're not letting people in who don't deserve your time and attention and you're being discerning of your own energy you know you're clearing out your energy or you need to clear out your energy over this um time period and also we have the uh ten of swords with the temperance so you're going to be more balanced after this ending okay things are going to start balancing themselves out and you're going to regain your rewards. I'm not seeing this probably until the end of October. But I definitely see this happening. So hopefully it resonates for you guys. If it did, give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, and also if you'd like to get a private reading with me. All the information is on the screen here. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. Hello group number three. Let's see what's going on for you in your love life. After the new moon in Libra. On the 28th of uh, September. So let's have a look. We have Get Grounded, Empaths, Highly Sensitives, Connect With Nature. Wow, that's stunning. Look at that card. Wow, that is so pretty. We then have Look Inside Yourself. Emotions are running high. Don't let the past hold you back. Okay, 
So I do feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to not let the past hold you back and to look and see what is kind of going on within you, okay? After this new moon in Libra, I think it's going to bring up a lot of emotions in you that you haven't kind of looked at for a while, but they're meant to come out at this time, okay? They weren't meant to come out any time before that. Um, because there's going to be a lot of emotions running high, I feel like um, it's really important for you to connect with nature and to go out, uh, go outside and connect with nature. I feel also for you guys, you're going to have a revelation. You're going to realise what you've put up with or what you haven't put up with and what you want to deal with right now, okay? I feel like your own, your mind is changing and the past is, isn't going to hold you back anymore, you know? I feel like you're moving forward and with emotions running high, I feel like this is actually really good. I feel like this could be a possible person coming in and they possibly make you want to look inside yourself because this is going to be almost like a trigger for you, but in a good way. It's going to be like, what do I need to improve? You know, what what have I been missing? And obviously not that you've been doing anything wrong, not that you're actually missing something, but I do sense that there's going to be like a revelation. This person's going to help you with that. You could also meet this person at work uh, or even out in nature. So we have the Queen of Wands. Two of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords. The uh, Nine of Wands, that's going to go up, right? No, actually, yeah, that's in reverse. Okay, Love Life, the quick number three. Emperor. What else? Let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Oh my god, my cards are going everywhere. Okay. Hangman in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse, please clarify. Four of Cups. Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands in Reverse, the Tower, and the Emperor. Right, so I definitely feel like you guys are going to meet somebody who's very strong. I don't feel like it's probably going to be as soon as the um, new moon in Libra comes around. I think it's going to be afterwards, and I feel like you guys are really going to be prosperous, okay? You're going to be really prosperous. I feel like for you guys, you're going to have possibly a younger person is going to come towards you, um, it could also be that they trigger a kind of, like a new person comes in and they trigger like a new personality in you, which is like so freeing, so fulfilled. Um, but for you guys, I feel like for after this uh, new moon in Libra, I think you're possibly going to want to travel, but you may not know where to go or you know, may not want, may want to go with somebody, but you may not have anyone to go with at the time. They may be busy, that sort of thing. Um, also, I see definite opportunities in terms of love. Guys, I feel like it's going to come through really, really nicely for you. And because of this tower moment that's happened, things are shifting and you're no longer feeling like you need to struggle, okay? Um, and things are going to balance out in terms of your finances. Somebody's going to help you possibly with finances. And there's going to be somebody coming in who's going to be very balanced in finances. They could also have a lot of money or they could work with you, you know? Um, yeah, and they could also just help with your finances. So don't let the past hold you back. Move forward. Make sure you are always looking after yourself and... Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you would like to get a private reading with me, all the information is on the screen here. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I definitely see a lot of good things for you guys. We've got the Ten of, Cu Ten of Pentacles here, which is just ultimate amazingness um, in terms of love. You've got the dogs, you've got the kids, you've got the whole family, you know. Uh, I also see for some of you a vlogging family. So for some of you could have a family and then you kind of vlog about it and put it on YouTube. Very random. You could also, some of you guys could also watch vlogging family channels. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, group number three. Hello, group number four. Let's see what's coming for you in your love life after this new moon in Libra. Oh, we've got cards sticking together. Okay. In a temple, a devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Happily ever after. Trust your intuition. Then have a look at the bigger picture and balance spirituality and practicality. So for you guys, I definitely see some love coming in. Um, we have the initiation, so I definitely feel like you are crossing some boundaries, which is really, really good in terms of your love life. So I feel like things are starting to shift more for you guys. And I see that you guys are looking at the bigger picture and you're kind of thinking, hmm, what do I want to do about my love life? How do I feel about it, you know? Um, and when it says tune to the portal of your heart, the more you enter this heart space, the more things are going to start to kind of open up for you. We have happily ever after and trust your intuition. 
this meaning that there's going to be something amazing happening you just need to trust your intuition as to how you want to kind of apply it to your life and how you want to go through it whatever that is for you and we also have balanced spirituality and practicality so it's really really good for you to meditate to get grounded to make sure you're not sucking up people's energies and you're kind of relaxed you know you kind of got boundaries in terms of your own energy space and you're not sucking up people's negative energies um yeah i think this is really really good i feel need to clap for you guys i don't know why <laughs> but yeah i definitely feel like you guys are going to be finding your way and i'm getting the um the film finding nemo so i feel like you're going to be finding nemo and nemo is like the new experience i feel like you're going to find nemo and you're going to get you're going to be really really happy yes exactly a new opportunity you're going to have a new opportunity coming towards you we have the ace of swords sorry my light is always reflecting on my table so i need to like put it here there we go star oh my god beautiful ten of swords beautiful i love this this is stunning we also have the knight of swords take these two two of swords with the five of pentacles let's see what else what's this ace of swords uh king of swords star ten of wands beautiful ace of wands gorgeous Queen of Swords, nice. Page of Swords, now underneath the deck we have Seven of Cups. So you're going to get much more opportunities this after this Libra New Moon. You're going to get some opportunities in terms of love. You're going to be ending a cycle and getting a gorgeous new one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Some of you guys, you could be meeting someone who's younger than you. Um, you could also just be meeting a new person who's kind of similar to you but not the same. We have Knight of Swords with a Queen of Swords. So instead of this being, if this was a king, I'd say it's like a marriage material. But I mean, obviously it can be marriage material, but I feel like for you guys, I think soon as soon as you meet this person, you'll think it's marriage material. But I feel like for you guys, you may have to get used to this person. But I feel like it's going to be really good. It's almost like, because I feel like for some of you guys, if you haven't loved for a while in terms of like a relationship, you haven't had a relationship for a while, this person will teach you like the, a new way of life, you know? Um, I feel like this person's going to be more kind of air sign so i feel like in terms of like they may be more kind of scatty um in terms of like they may get distracted quite easily but they're also a really really good person they're going to show you a new way of life if you're somebody who's quite structured quite organized they're going to help you to kind of loosen that off and i feel like the with the two of swords and the page of swords this person's going to open you up to new possibilities and new responsibilities for some reason they're telling me that as well whatever that means to you we also have the king of swords but actually we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So yes, definitely a relationship here, guys. Definitely. Sorry, I didn't see the King of Swords. Um, and then we have the Ten of Wands with the Star. So there's going to be a new opportunity for you guys in terms of like a new kindled romance I'm hearing. I'm getting star-crossed lovers. So I feel like that's going to be coming for you guys. I'm getting like this sort of thing, like crossing the fingers. So you guys are going to be coming together with your uh, partnership. I feel like this is a new partnership. I don't see this as maybe an old partnership but that you would have had quite a long separation in terms of like i'm talking like four or five years six years and then coming together so it's almost like a new relationship and you're basically starting off from scratch but yeah we've got the ten of swords with the ace of wands and then the ten of wands with the star so yeah it's absolutely amazing i'm seeing a gorgeous um start for you guys amazing so get ready for that so thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give a big old thumbs up comment down below if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here and if you would like to subscribe to my channel please feel free all the information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye